Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Francisca Von Karma Trials and Tribulations, everybody, because oh. guess whose favorite female prosecutor's back? And the only female, female prosecutor. prosecutor. <laughs> well, maybe there's another in future games. No, nah, the games are pretty sexist. <laughs> Any one to no one. <laughs> <laughs> How did that even come around? Anyhow, we're still cross-examining Bikini. She finished her bath. At around 11. At around 11. How far is it from your room to the inner temple? Let me think a moment. About 20 minutes on these stumps of mine. Sorry about that. Steam popped up with an unclosable window right in front of me, so I had to task manager out of it. Anyhow. Uh -huh. It's about 15 minutes from the dusky bridge of, from Hazakura Temple. I can't talk at all. The, the well, inner, great. The inner this temple game is, just is literally the not just all talking or anything. Every time I say a sentence, even if I wait for it to completely go, I'm like, the inner temple is just in the, beyond the bridge. Like, I always say it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I feel Still, you. Still, you never made it back there that night, did you? That's right. I was heading along the walkway toward the main hall. And as I was walking back, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I took a look and... You say you heard a noise? Thump! Just like that! That could have only been the sound of the victim falling. It's very quiet in the temple, you know. Yeah, the only times that like any noise is heard is it's like, GONG! DINNER! GONG! And I MADE I GOT SPAGHETTI uh, ON MY HOOD! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the only noises you ever hear. <laughs> Well, maybe you hear, like, the... And Pearl um, eating the leftover pot roast in her room. <laughs> <laughs> in reality, the thump was just her dropping the pot, like, on her foot. She's like... <laughs> and she went to put ice on it. Get it? Because it's snowy, snowy out. Snowy out? Uh, okay. <laughs> you can even hear the snow falling from the branches. Thump! Just like that. But then... Couldn't this noise you heard have just been the snow falling to the ground? I never thought of that. <laughs> ho 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 ho. You, ah! The next one to laugh gets a whipping. Well, whatever the source of the sound, I looked over the courtyard and... That well, sounded like the most fake judge laugh. Ha 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 I couldn't ha, tell if he was actually laughing or he was just like ha ha. ha Very ha. funny. And by the time I realized it, I was just stay, sticking with it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> This is the second time that the witness has testified to seeing the defendant. But, some doubt remains in these claims. Hey, just what does that mean? Just because you're a good-looking young man doesn't give you the right to- I am handsome, I have all the rights. <laughs> the murderer who stabbed the victim with the sword. Sister Bikini, try to recall exactly who it was you saw, as clearly as you can. Hmm, well... You're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. Dane, if Phoenix had done this, it would have just been like, Sucks to be you, I'm not no, talking. <laughs> it makes me wonder how different characters would behave if, if Edgeworth was the defense attorney. Like, old CD, Old CD hated us because he thought, like, all of these things with the, um, with the bird seed. Not the bird seed, the pigeon feed. Or Zinio. Like, if, if Phoenix Wright was just like, Edgeworth, Edge Edgeworth would have not to be intimidated by him. Sure, exactly. But I think in in turn, he wouldn't have been as ridiculous. Oh man, then it would have been Zinniope as fake Edgeworth. <laughs> the, the fake Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> he just wears a cravat. <laughs> Still has like the, the orange tiger suit, but it just has a cravat on it. Yeah. Oh, hey, Edgeworth. <laughs> oh, now that you mention it, there was something awfully strange about her. Something that had been bugging me all this time! Great. Please don't keep us in suspense. Her hood! Her hood. That's right! It's coming back to me. Iris! She wasn't wearing her hood! I thought something was out of place, but it all makes sense now, doesn't it? After all, she'd given that hood away to someone, right? Dark. Huh. 
You've dug your own grave, Miles Edgeworth. What do you say, Mr. Edgeworth? Is this testimony important? It's not that important. Wait, can I see the court record real quick? Sure. I want to see if we have Francisca's profile. Oh, she's 19. She is? Yep. She's still so young. Wait, how many years apart from her and, uh, the bleh, Edgeworth? Edgeworth. Six years, maybe? I think he's 25. Oh, that's not, it's not much different than you and I. No. So that would, that would make sense. <laughs> There's Larry. Larry's Mike. like, oh man, can't <laughs> wait to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> um, this testimony is very important, obviously. But, it not, but it's bad for us. <laughs> no, it's important because we could pin this as a two crime thing. You know what I mean? Because let's say it's like, oh, well, of course, if she's wearing a hood, it's Iris. Then it's like, okay, we could have had any old schmo come in, put on her hood and be like, hey, Sister Bikini. Oh, hello, hey, Iris. Hey, Bikini, I'm, I'm Iris. Wow, did you take up smoking? Yeah, just five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> just one smoke, and then that'll do it. <laughs> Don't smoke, kids. <laughs> no, yeah, I, yeah. This line of questioning is only going to tear the wound open further. These statements are as useless as the investigations of a certain detective. There's no need to record them. Hmm. Very well. Please continue with your testimony. Wait, really? Hmm. Really? <laughs> that would do nothing. Okay. This may initially appear to put me at a disadvantage, but I can't see any other leads at the moment. Your Honor, I would like these new statements to be added to the testimony. Hmm. Miles Edgeworth. If you want to hang yourself, you need only ask. I'll gladly lend you my whip. Witness, add that statement to your testimony. No problem. When in doubt, add the statement. I don't think it's ever at a disadvantage. Unless yeah. It, unless it overwrites the one you're supposed to uh, sure, present sure. on. Iris did not have her hood on. You are sure about that? Yes. After all, we always wear the same clothes. I don't mean because we're poor, you hear? It's our style. Yes, that's it. There's absolutely no need to explain yourself. Anyway, she looked different from normal, so that really stuck out. Like me holding a whip- er, a whippet puppy? <laughs> What's a whippet puppy? I don't know. Is it like a type of dog? Somebody, somebody I think it's like a smaller us. whip or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't- I'll look it a up. puppy? Okay. Right here, right now. Right here, right, right now. now. Or that made me think of the right here, right on, right here, right on. I was thinking of the actual song, right here, right now. Oh. I was thinking of Sonic Rush. <laughs> when you occasionally start the do 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 and then like Sonic starts running. It's a dog breed. It is a dog the breed. Is the a... Whippet puppy. Oh, he didn't let me read. The, the Whippet, Whippet is a dog breed of medium size. They are a sight hound breed that originated in England, where they descended from greyhounds. Whippets today still strongly resemble a smaller greyhound. Shown in the hound group, whippets have relatively few health problems compared to other, uh, other than arithmia. 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 Cool. And so, yeah, so it's a whippet puppy. I want to see fan art of her holding a puppy. Holding a puppy, just like. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be way better. At least then it might bite you and not someone else. Iris didn't have her hood on. I'm sure of it. Very well. Now please tell us about the victim, eh? <laughs> Mr. Galisa was staying in the corner room, faces yep. out to the courtyard. Yep. The room the victim was staying in overlooked the courtyard, correct? Which means the victim's room was on the second floor? No, no. Hazakura Temple's a single-story building. But the mountain itself slopes, uh, downward. Which elevates the main gate's side of the temple and the guest rooms are in the back. To about the height of a two-story building. Oh, so it's like, um, it's like if you built a house on the bottom of a hill, and then the top of the hill is where you enter, kind of. It's No, it would literally be like building a house on top of a hill, and then the courtyard is at the bottom of the hill. That's it. Okay. I see, and the victim was staying in one of these elevated rooms, correct? Yes. I should know. I'm the one who carried her things to her room, after all. Well, that I would thought, be. apparently she didn't bring anything heavier than a fork and a knife. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She's like, I only need my- Or she's uh, been here for a long time now. She could be. I mean, we just walked in and saw her in her- <laughs> It's like Enya. Yeah. This is her- the place she- This hides. is the place she- the place she hides. She doesn't hide. This is the hide. place she lives. Oh, yeah. Like, secluded be. area. It could be. I mean, 
given that Iris, uh, Iris, <laughs> uh, is staying there, it could be that she's like, like rehab. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. <laughs> Iris is rehab. Uh, Dahlia. Dahlia's rehab. Dahlia's rehab. Re at Dahlia, your name is now Iris. I guess. Yes. <laughs> They're no, both well, flower names, so sure. okay. Oh, I guess they are. The doll. You don't often think of like, oh yeah, flowers, Dahlia's, but like. Yeah, they are both flowers. If, Ma if Melissa also... was like, my name's Rose, I'd be like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> What's your Let name now? Lily. Cauliflower. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your name? Broccoli. Stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed, pushed out, out the window. window. You don't think I meant to knock Elise out the window, do you? you? <laughs> what makes you so sure of all this? It's just that, like I told you earlier, I heard a noise from the courtyard. Okay. Thump. Just like that. You are one smart sister, I'll give you that. The autopsy report states that... The victim's body was covered in bruises, indicating a fall from around 10 feet in height. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm, it appears that the witness was not mistaken then. Yep, yep, I'm more than just a pretty face, especially in the winter. I'm a woman of faith, after all. The head honcho of Hezekura Temple. There's only two of them working there. <laughs> What's wrong, Miles Edgeworth? No snappy comeback remark. It doesn't feel like she's lying. This is very powerful testimony, too. She claims to have seen the instant in which the defendant stabbed the victim. There are only two things that I can believe in right now. My client, Iris, and my own abilities as a defense attorney. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. 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 She didn't have her hood on. We know that, though. Right, but... Was that added on, too? No, just this one. Okay. And then, was there anything after that? Probably that's the statement. So if we look at the autopsy report, body fell ten feet... After death. Oh, well, there you go. Objection! Impressive logic. That's what I'd like to say, anyway. Oh, please do! My brain is something else, especially in winter! <laughs> However, I think you are overlooking one thing. Miss Von Karma, would you be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? I'm sure you didn't have much time to read it on the plane flight. <laughs> <laughs> the autopsy report? The victim did fall from a height of ten feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. <laughs> Th that's right! It says after death right there! The scene the witness claims to have seen is contradictory. I just realized, how would that work? Like, would it, um, how would they be able to be like, well, I guess she was killed after, she was killed before she got pushed. Everybody knows I, that. I bet you could check to see, like, the blood, if it was, like, on top of the bruises or not. I or, don't, or, or, like, if, if the blood was smushed the, with the bruises. Or if it's, like, in the room, maybe? I don't know how they could do it, but... I don't know how you would check that. That's why I'm like, how would the police be able to be like, well, I guess she was killed, then pushed out the window, not the other way around, or... I thought maybe she would get pushed out the window and then fell on the sword. Ooh. Think, like, uh... No. Vasquez. <laughs> Vasquez just, didn't fall on the sword. Let me just push you onto all the spikes. <laughs> yeah. That was accidental, That though. was accidental, but still. If the defendant stabbed and killed the victim there in the courtyard... How did the victim then go on to take a ten-foot fall? Ah! Well, order! Order! The victim was killed and then fell. If that is the case, then the victim must have been killed in her room, don't you agree? Th that is the logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room. And then she was thrown out of her window down into the courtyard below. Were there any signs of a struggle in Miss Donan's room? She was stabbed with a sword. That would leave a blood stain, wouldn't you agree? W well, Miss Von Karma, was there any blood? Wah! I didn't even have a chance to check and take a look at it before coming here. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. We don't know. <laughs> I literally don't know like nothing. I stopped at Cadeau's house to get Pick the up evidence. Pick a coffee and then came <laughs> Took here. an Uber, had like five minutes in the Uber to read the evidence. <laughs> 
Ms. Von Carver, this is all your fault that you didn't send like somebody I've, to I feel that. like I've had a couple presentations that I've done that. Where I was <laughs> where you've like, taken an Uber to Godot's house? <laughs> no, where I've literally just been in the car like, okay, I got like five minutes to prepare. I'm all right. Okay, prepare. Not like <laughs> do all of the examination. <laughs> I mean, no, but maybe. Oh, man. What if Godot was her Uber driver? He's like, hey, gotta make the buck some. <laughs> <laughs> he would be a crazy taxi guy. I would totally get it. Uh, well, I still think Uber is sketchy. I would get in an Uber with Godot. Godot How seems like he... a cool guy. I don't know. <laughs> He's got the mask. Uber, Uber the is weird, though. Anyhow. No traces of blood were found in the victim's room. Your whip has just caused traces of blood to be found in my glorious playoff beard. However, if there was no blood in the room, then your claim that- Ah! I'm sure there's no need for me to go over this. As I'm sure your honor is well aware, of when a stab would wound produces the most blood. When it produces the most blood? Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of the blade's insertion. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from a body, that would be when the blade is removed. Indeed. With that weapon still in place, it acts like a lid on the wound. That's true. With the weapon still in the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. A perfectly reasonable line of thinking. We have come to a conclusion, then. The victim was thrown out of the window with the sword still in place. This removes all of the contradictions! Hmm. I can't believe she's like a year or two older than me. <laughs> Like, how? She looks like she's, like, my age more. Eh. She's seen some things. She's ha she has a she got shot in the shoulder a last year. I forgot about that! How did I forget? <laughs> I don't know. But her father's also Manfred von Karma. That adds, like, 20 years to your life automatically. Yeah, automatically. Especially if she started at 13. Can you imagine if you're 13 years old and your father's just like, Guess what? You're going to be a prosecutor. <laughs> imagine just like your first court case of Manfred's just like staring at you from the gallery. Just like. <laughs> I mean, maybe no this can is see what my like. Expression, but yeah. Sure. Maybe this is what some kids feel though. The pressure. Because I know there's like plenty of friends of mine who just like. Th because of the careers they pick or because of the careers their parents want them to pick. Sadly enough. Yeah. Um, they'll have a lot of. Stuff. Pressure on their shoulders. Order, order, order. I must admit that this is a probable version of events. I'd expect no less from Francisca von Karma. She locates and takes control of every vital point. Hmm. It seems that we need a clearer testimony from the witness. Remove all supposition on your part and tell us only the truth, please. Witness, please, remain standing on the crate. Don't go selling me short now! The weight of the winter snow has bent me out of shape. Especially my back and my mood! Sister, please give us your testimony. I will give you a vigorous massage once we are finished here. That's surprisingly nice of her. <laughs> With the whip. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, all right. You look tense, hon. Let me give, give you a, a massage. <laughs> Every time you've done that to me, like... Out of nowhere, I'll be like, ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, what if, it's Maybe not... we'll get to experience that one of these days. <laughs> Fervor details. When I looked across the scene, the sword was already in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab Mystic Elise. That's a... That's a problem. <laughs> maybe she came up and saw it happen. Like, maybe she came up and is just like... Well, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about that? No, but really, it's Dahlia. Like, She's seen a lot of killings, <laughs> and might have done a lot of killings. But, but here's the thing: if this was another case, like let's let's take the previous one with Maggie, where it's like, oh no, I the, somebody thinks I poisoned their coffee. If she had walked up and like seen the sword, and somebody was just like, oh, I saw her stab. Like that's that's <laughs> kind of a huge difference. Yeah, I'd never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. You can't blame me, can you? And when I awoke, Mr. Gami was... Stabbing Mr. Elise through the back. Yeah, that's what I thought the statue came... That's why I thought the statue came to life. <laughs> hmm. This all confirms Miss Von Karma's theory. Von Karma strive for nothing but perfection. Putting together such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Miles Edgeworth. Perfection is an impossibility, Francisca von Karma. And I'm here to teach you just that. 
further details. Cross examination. Whoa, Edgeworth has a crazy glare. Yeah. He's always had that. It's just but mirrored. Like, but it's mirrored, and we see it more closely. All right. No, you don't. Press. Well, well, because we're playing as him. At that time, was the victim bleeding? Well, I was very shocked to be seeing all this, of course. So I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I saw any blood. Not then. I'm sure that you didn't. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. In any case, let's be clear on one very important point. Did you actually see the instant in which the victim was stabbed? Thinking about now, it now. now I did I didn't see her stab. <laughs> so not decisive anymore. Think carefully, this is very important. It's Iris we're talking about here. I'm thinking for all I'm worth. No, when I looked over, the sword was already in Mystic Elise's body. Um, it might not be conclusive, but this testimony supports her theory. The victim was stabbed in her room and then dropped into the courtyard. I think this proves it rather well, Niles Edgeworth. I'd never seen so much blood. Blood! 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 <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying that you saw the victim's blood? Th th that's right! Some of it had splattered onto Iris, too! Well, I guess that's kind of good to know. <laughs> because if she was just walking by, she wouldn't have blood splattered on her. And when she saw the person, like, <laughs> she ripped the sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't... No. When the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room. And her blood-flecked clothing was neatly folded in a corner. In the corner, not the What? Corner. Her clothes were blood-flecked as well? Hmm, that seems quite conclusive to me. What should I do? Press this point further? I mean, when in doubt, always press further? <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum! I can't afford to make things look any worse for the defendant. I'll bide my time for now. Witness, continue your testimony. From after you witnessed the victim bleeding. Well. That was boring. That was boring. Going back to your previous statement, you said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed. But now you say you saw the victim bleeding? Well, well, I, I say that what I saw is what I saw. What did you see? Maybe I didn't see the poor woman get stabbed. But I saw the girl pull the sword out of her, plain as day! Uh... Pulling the sword out? Well, it wasn't exactly pulling, it was more like it came out. Witness, you will add this statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? More important than you can imagine. I saw the instant in which the blade plunged into the hilt was smoothly drawn out. What is this, Ocarina of Time? <laughs> like he, you know, he pulls the mask. Yeah, so I, yeah <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm imagining. Like I knew smoothly. as soon as you mentioned Ocarina of Time <laughs> pulling the hilt out. <laughs> smoothly, you say? You're saying you saw the sword smoothly slide out? That's right. The whole thing happened right next to a gold statue of Ami Fei. Well, I mean, she probably doesn't know it's Ami Fei. Uh, <laughs> Mystic Ami. <laughs> Mystic Elise was on the ground and Iris was stooped over her. The sword was buried up to the hilt. Wait, where's the hilt? Is that like the part where- That's wait, where you grab it from. Here's the sword. Did you- How'd it go into the ground? <laughs> How does that work? No, no, no. Elise Stone was just really, really fat. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! That's what I'm trying to- Like, how would it have been like- Maybe it was like diagonally plunged. Ugh. <laughs> Well, but here's what I'm trying to figure out. If it's plunged directly to the hilt, which is where I thought it was. Like, swords are long. We're gonna assume it's like, um, I'm gonna think by rulers. Like, maybe a ruler and a half at least long. So, a foot and a half. <laughs> yeah, you have a foot and a half. <laughs> a ruler and a half. I can't think feet. I'm bad. Feet, 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 feet. feet. Okay. Okay, but let's say it's that long, a foot and a half. If it's sticking through a human being, yeah, but we're assuming it's that short, then it would be through the entire body. I feel like, one, there would have been more blood. Maybe there's just a like, lot of snow piled up and it went through the snow, but not the ground. 
it could have, but I feel like also if you got pushed out the window, it'd be like, oh, and then like make you'd like fly through the snow. You know how if it's really thick, like you go a few inches deeper than the snow at the top. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there would have been more marks we would have seen. <laughs> Maybe they just shoveled uh, it up. I don't know. That's a problem. <laughs> anyway, we we read this slid out of oh, the Oh, did we? Sorry. I think we did. If not, I'm sorry. It slid out from that gaping wound. Ah. Oh. It goes without saying that if the sword was removed, there would be bleeding. Nothing out of place here. Is that really the case? I can't help but feel that something about this testimony is very out of place. That something which couldn't possibly have happened appears to have happened. Well, okay, here's the thing. Let's say she draws the sword out. <laughs> and there's blood everywhere. That means she had to have refigured it and then plunged it back through the same wound with Mystic Ami. Maybe. That would have been what she'd have to do. Was the bleeding caused by the killer removing the sword? No mistaking it, I remember it all clear as day! Don't you think that's a bit odd? What do you mean, Miles Edgeworth? Why would the killer pull out the sword? What? If all she wanted to do was place the weapon in the hand of the gold statue, then there was no reason to remove it from the body. Although that's kind of hard, because then you have to, like, move the body and be like... And then, like re <laughs> Nobody can see what you're <laughs> doing! No, everyone can understand by my body movement... Okay, and, and the, the only people who are dead. No, okay, what I'm saying is it's hard to move a body with a sword in it without moving the sword and, like, plunging the wound deeper and, like, making more blood gush out. Also, she's a tall lady, and Iris is a small lady. It's not like Iris can be like, but up, and just instantly pick her up and move her over. Maybe she had the Goron bracelet, and that helped her. Even then, <laughs> she's still a long, like... Picking up picking up the a weight that's like the same weight as the person is a lot easier than picking up the weight of somebody wh who's long with yeah, lots of I long agree. limbs and stuff. But it's possible. Yeah. All that would have accomplished is causing the victim to bleed unnecessarily. Your faults, Miss Von Karma. Th that's. Indeed, it is strange now that you mention it. I'm going to need to find an answer to this mystery too. Anyway, the victim saw something terrible. The victim saw something terrible. The victim was the terrible thing, and the witness saw it! <laughs> so what did you do after that, witness? She's like, I'm jet lagged! Knock it off! <laughs> like, five hours ago, I was in Germany. It was yeah. a fast jet. It was a really... <laughs> Especially since it's California. <laughs> yeah, it is California. I got the... I got, was it the Concorde? Yeah, I rode the Concorde. <laughs> Con Ugh. Oh, you probably don't know that. Flight no. Simulator? <laughs> oh! Flight Simulator. There's a game. Now, on to the, what the killer did next. You saw none of it, correct? Well, I was unconscious. How long were you out for? I don't know. Ten, maybe twenty minutes? Uh, that's a long... That's a long time. Man, Phoenix took a, a long, long time, time running. running. He's like, where am I going? How do I get outside? Which way did the bathroom? He, he just <laughs> went to the bathroom first. <laughs> Let me just fix this. You, he's worse than Pop Pot. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I want it. But when he, when we heard the scream, he was instantly awake and like, duh, 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 like running out, which makes me think she was only out for maybe two minutes tops. Still, that's a long time. But mm -hmm. yeah. A young man with very prickly looking hair woke. Er, very prickly looking hair with a head woke me up <laughs> by stepping on me accidentally. Hmm, I'm not sure I like that method of resuscitation. Well, I wasn't asking for mouth to mouth or anything of the sort, but I would have welcomed a more gentle awakening right about then. Let me tell you. I shall have words with the offender personally. What did you see upon awakening? Fire emblem. <laughs> I awoke and Mr. Gami was We woke up and we saw Krom like there, his cape better, blowing. there are better places than lying <laughs> on the ground, you know. But that's what she was dreaming of. <laughs> wow. I played that game quite a few times. Clearly. Here, you... Give me your hand. <laughs> Stop. By Mystic Ami, you are referring to the golden statue, correct? Just stabbing someone with the Shitoshito is sacred treasures terrible enough. 
Maya did work. Well, no, she didn't. But Maya she, didn't stab. She just bent it by hitting it against Phoenix's head. That's true. <laughs> but to then make Mystic Ami hold the blade. Truly, a heinous, despicable crime. I'm not disagreeing. I mean, if Dahlia goes to jail, she goes to jail. Yeah. <laughs> it is easy to despise something. Anyone can do it. However, there is something that cannot be done so easily. Whatever is it, or whatever it is, I'm sure it's doably hard for you. Doubly. Oh. Man, I'm jet lagged. <laughs> whatever it is, I'm sure it's doably hard for you. Anyway, what's the problem? The problem is you're jet lagged and you can't speak basic sentences. <laughs> exactly, why would the killer set up this gruesome scene? Can anyone explain the reasoning behind that? Hmm. No, I don't think I can. At least you didn't try and blame Maya. There isn't always a logical reason behind why someone acts. That's true. So true. In early spring, for example, I often find myself... There isn't always. That phrase might come in handy someday. There are too many unnatural elements in this case. Why was it necessary to use the Shitoshito from the Ami statue as a weapon? Why was the weapon finally placed back in the hand of the statue? If I can expose the flaws in this testimony, perhaps then I will be able to be find the truth. All right. Well... I didn't actually see her. I saw the instant in which it was plunged. Yeah, okay. Never seen so much blood. Sure. That's when I fainted. Yeah. Mr. Gami was stabbing. Well, there's nothing wrong with that statement, so it's probably the one with, um, yeah, that we added. Yeah. Was the victim's staff in the snow still that we picked up? Did it fly out the window with her? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. I think so. Okay, so not only did that fly out the window, or not only did she fly out, her stick flew out too. Yep. So it seems. Wow, poor thing. Meanwhile, Pearl! I want to find my Pearl! She's still eating pot roast. It's fine. <laughs> we, we haven't found her! She's just been in the bathroom for a while. She ate way too much. <laughs> you would think that would be... Like, okay, let's be fair. How many bathrooms do you think a... Like, temple has. temple has one, <laughs> maybe two, for genders. <laughs> so it's like there are only two nuns living there. There might just be yeah, one. Yeah, there, there might just be one bathroom. And they're like, oh, you're a guy. Well, it sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Ouch. <laughs> uh, well, if we saw the instant in which the blade was plunged in, when it was smoothly drawn out has the victim's blood and suspect's fingerprints on it. Okay. Um, here's the thing that I'm just realizing. What? Um, there's only blood up to maybe a third of the way up. That's true. Not to all the, the way to the hilt. So That might be a problem. That might be a problem. <laughs> Sister Bikini, you are a reliable witness. Decently. At least, I'd like to think so. But there are too many contradictions here. What do you mean? You make it sound as though I'm a liar! But... You're a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. What contradictions are you talking about? In the scene that the witness claims to have seen... The weapon was thrust up to its hilt into the victim. Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. However, both of these are complete impossibilities. What do you mean? Please explain you- Ah! Explain yourself! To start with, do you think it would be possible to stab someone to the hilt with this? No matter how I look at the defendant, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. Objection. Doesn't appear? What meaningless dribble. I too may appear to be weak and frail, but I can crush men under my heel and make them weep, so should I, should, should I so choose? The objection stands. I wept a little back there, I must admit. That isn't the only issue here. If this sword was truly stabbed into the body up to the hilt, well, just look at all the branches on it. It certainly wouldn't come out smoothly. That's... We also have the problem of the amount of bleeding. Oh, I hadn't even thought about the smoothness. It's true that when a blade is left in the body, it acts as a plug of sorts. However... When the weapon is shaped like this, it's an entirely different story. 
The wound would have been too large for the blade to completely stop the bleeding. Objection! That's nothing more than conjecture! In reality, the victim was stabbed with the Shitashita. Even a weapon of this nature may still sometimes slide out smoothly and may still sometimes stop the blood loss. I'm not finished. There is still one more conclusive contradiction. Y you're you've still got more? This one is simple. If this sword really was thrust in all the way to the hilt, why is there only blood on the tip of it? That's the one I saw. <laughs> if this witness is telling the truth, then there should be blood along the entire length of the sword. No! To be fair, Von Karma, give yourself a break. Order, order, da! Bravo, Miles Edgeworth. You can beat me when I'm jet lagged, yeah. but not no, otherwise. Yeah, no, but give, give her a break, cause like she's jet lagged, and then also she doesn't know she's anything. She's 19. About this. Like, That's true. She's like, I will be better than Miles Edgeworth. I'm like, Miles Edgeworth's in his peak right now. <laughs> in so, terms of in, in... hotness and in terms of skill, <laughs> according to the fangirls, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, but that, that's kind of true. Like, 25, that's when you're supposed to, like, Pe peak, peak of physical, peak of physical uh, capabilities. Uh, yep. So, yep. and hotness capabilities. <laughs> <That's like. true. laughs> no, so, because of that, like, she's she's holding herself up too high. Okay. A bit, but anyway. Raising this many contradictions from a single piece of evidence, all the other attorneys I know could maybe manage one, if that. But what does this all mean? You've proven contradictions regarding the murder weapon, but having come this far, there can only be one answer. And that is? The weapon used to kill the victim was not the Shijishito. Wh what That would make sense. A foolishly foolish idea born from the foolish mind of a foolhearted foolish fool. Let's examine this again. What was it that made us think that the sword was the murder weapon? Well... It's because Mr. Kami was holding it. Exactly. However, if you reflect on this, that is the only basis we have to assume such a thing. The impression left by the scene was just too strong. That is what influenced us. It influenced us to believe that the Shichishito was the murder weapon. What else would it be? The potato she ate? <laughs> Shark potatoes. Order, order, da! <laughs> so maybe the Shichishito was not the murder weapon. Even if that is the case, it changes nothing, Miles Edgeworth. The sister, or the sister here saw everything. She saw the defendant stab the victim with a sword-like object. Hmm, that's true. Your response, Mr. Edgeworth? If that is so, I would like the prosecution to answer the obvious question it raises. The obvious question? Yes, namely, where did the real murder weapon disappear to? She's like, I'm jet lagged. It goes without saying that the police searched the main hall and the surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as to w if a sword like object was found. That's. Answer the question, Miss Von Karma. I don't know you, morons! <laughs> I'm poor Von Karma. I feel bad for her. <laughs> I actually kind of did too. <laughs> no evidence of that kind was found. Hmm. Well, I mean, there was her stick. But we picked That's it not up. a sword! We picked it up ourselves. Well, maybe... Maybe if you, like, sharpen the end. Was the end sharp enough to be sword? Was there blood on the staff? No. <laughs> not that we saw. Maybe it's a really dark wood. It's light like a, brown. A dark, cheery wood cabinet. It's light brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> huh, another mystery to throw onto the pile. A trial without a murder weapon is a tricky beast. Excuse me. Could I say something? I just remembered something, actually. Great! Thanks! What is it, sister? I was just thinking it's possible that just maybe what actually happened was it was just over there. What exactly are you going on about here? The murder weapon, I mean. Maybe. I think I might know where the sword was disposed of. You what?! Well then, I think we need to hear testimony from you one more time, sister. Impossible! What else? What else could this old woman have seen? 
Well, then I jumped on my motorcycle and went back to the bridge and somebody threw a sword over into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Location of the weapon. I saw the murder at around 11 p.m. And after asking that it be reported, I went out to the main gate. And there, I saw tracks! Tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used! It takes 15 minutes to walk to Dusky Bridge, but less than five using one of those! Maybe they threw the weapon into Eco River! <laughs> That's literally what I said! You said the fire, not Eagle River. Okay, but the but fire yeah. indicates Eagle River. Yeah. And then came back when I was knocked out. Iris could have done that. She can drive a snowmobile after all. I mean, yeah, that might be your one job requirements. Like, job requirements to be a nun. Wear snowmobile. Your, wear your hood at all times. Make sure you can ring a bell. Make sure you can seem spiritual, at least. And drive the snowmobile that everyone needs to know how to drive. Eat spaghetti without spilling it. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, please tell us everything you know right away next time. She didn't say she knew it. She said she assumed that. That's true. Well, I'm not in the best of shape. What with my back and my age, you know. Quite. I was going to say quiet, but then it came out as the British quite. <laughs> quite. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> there were indeed snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here is a photograph. How'd you manage to yeah! see this on your flight? <laughs> a snowmobile, eh? I see. Well, it certainly is an interesting theory. Wait, is there a crack in the wall? There's uh, a crack yeah, in the wall. Yeah, there are. Maybe they ask, maybe they don't know how to drive a snowmobile and accidentally <laughs> they hit crashed the wall. <laughs> or maybe they tried to vault over the wall. <laughs> also, I I think like either Godot took this picture and he's like, "Here's kid, <laughs> like take this." Here you go, or kid. She, this is what she did on the point flight. She photoshopped a photo. Like, <laughs> I bet yeah, this, this is, is a what, thing. I bet what the she exact just, temple looks like. She just googled Hasakura Temple. There was a snowmobile in front. She's like, that's important. <laughs> like, we photoshopped the tracks. tracks. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. If we go back there, it's like, there, and there aren't tracks, it's like, well, somebody lied. <laughs> Probably Dahlia. <laughs> Probably Dahlia. The tracks begin in front of Hasakura Temple and run all the way down to Dusky Bridge. Tracks photo added to the court record. That solves your pesky little problem, yes. The Eagle River's current is quite swift, meaning it doesn't freeze over in winter. Making it the perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Did she really go to the river to dispose of the murder weapon? Here's the thing. Why or no, wait. Actually, yeah. Why would she be like, I'm gonna go to the main gate? Instead of waiting by the murder scene to make sure nothing gets touched. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth, your cross-examination, please. Well, we'll be finishing that up next time on Phoenix Aww. Wright Trials and Tribulations. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope to see you next time. Should be a hoot and a half. A Anyhow. hoot and a half? Hoot and three quarters. Oh, yeah. Hoot, hoot, hooty, hoot. Hooty, hoot gets the boot. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless.